Do you believe in spirits? Mm, yeah. Like, I have this body, but maybe inside, I'm an adult man. Hey. Hello. Hello. Do you know what we're here to talk about? No. It's related to death. We're going to have you eat funeral food from around the world. That's why I'm wearing black and white. I'm scared. Why are you like, scared? I'm scared the food might be sad. Are you afraid of dying? Of course I am, everybody. No, not really. Because I will be reformed. Or I'll stay in the underworld for all eternity, which is pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> Open your eyes. That looks like sort of like a cake. Why? Here you go. Is it like a cake? Be careful. For the deceased? Yeah. The family of the deceased makes this together. It's a mixture of grains and seeds sweetened with honey or sugar. What's the white stuff? The powdery white stuff? Powdered sugar. Yes! Mmm. Oh. I can't actually bite them. Wait, they're almonds. They're like colored almond. It looks like a cross. It is, that's a cross. So the grains symbolize everlasting life. The raisins in it, they represent life's sweetness. And wrinkles, because raisins are wrinkly. I taste strange. I'm gonna yeah. take that dish away. You seem to be the biggest fan of that. What do you think happens after someone dies? When people die, they, they go to a place like the underworld, they might go to heaven or a different place. What's the different place? Hell. Heaven is up, hell is down. If they bad, they go down. What is this? Hmm. This looks strange. There's bone in there, so be careful. So that's goat. You just ate some goat. Why did you do this to poor goats? In Jamaica, they celebrate the deceased on the ninth night after they passed away. And the idea is, on the ninth night, they believe the spirit will eat some of the food. <laughs> it's complicated. It is complicated. When they lay out the food on the table, no one is allowed to eat it until midnight because it's for the spirit. Hmm? Uh, is this shoot gonna go on till midnight? Did you eat some of that food? Yes. I hope the spirit's not angry. You weren't supposed to eat that. It's for the spirit. Heck no. Nah. I'm hungry. Open. Eggs. Eggs? Why do they eat eggs? Is this eggs? Yeah. Why is it like that? It's not supposed to be like that. That's what happens when you boil an egg for hours and hours. Mm. Cool! It looks different, but delicious. Um, why is it um, This is a really ancient technique. Ancient? Very old technique of So this is old food? Mm. So after a Jewish person is laid to rest, a family will partake in a first meal. Definitely not my favorite dish. It's kind of bittersweet. Inside, it tastes like a nutty meat. But it's like ham. Yum. <laughs> <gasps> Ooh! That looks like macaroni and cheese. Do you have any Mormon friends? What? Do you know any Mormons? Mormons? What am I looking at? Mormon funeral potatoes. It's got potatoes and creamy sauce and... What's this? Corn flakes on top. Corn flakes? What the? Is that cereal? Yeah, it's corn flakes. Nom, 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 nom. It does taste really good. I should get some Mormon friends. Ah! Whoa. Who is that? My cat. She got run over by a car slash truck. 
This is Pan de Muerto, and this is something you would have on Dia de los Muertos. And it's to be shared as an offering to the spirit of loved ones. This one right here is Aunt Sue. She died when I was six. Aunt Sue, that's for you. This is for you. I love you. This is Ming Ming. Ming Ming was like a cat that loved like oranges, um, oranges and like grapes. Do you want to offer some of the food to your cat? Here was some food, Ming Ming. Come back, we miss you. All right, how was this? That was fun. Should we talk about death more often? Yeah, it's part of life. It's really on your mind. You should talk about it to get it out of your system, and then you'll feel more loose about it, like loose.